G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 8th episode in our first season for the Manchester United career mode series on FIFA 18. Safe to say, if you lo if safe to say, if you watched episode number 7, it was a frustrating one. As I said in that one, I put a trigger warning before it. I got extremely annoyed in that one. And a lot of it came down to number one, some of the game mechanics, but number two, and most importantly, me not knowing how to use the new features in FIFA 18. I have done a lot of research, a lot of practice, and just trying to learn how to get better at FIFA 18. And I've learned, I've got to stop playing the game like it's FIFA 17. It is a completely different game in certain aspects. So as I said, I've been practicing a lot on Ultimate Team Squad Battles, which I'm doing pretty well at. So I'm hopeful that that can translate over into this series here. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Also, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Today's episode should be a good test. It's a good test with different sort of levels. We've got Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup round of 16. Then we have Tottenham at home in the Premier League. And finally, a must-win Champions League group stage game against Spartak Moscow. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into today's episode. So we're going to start off today's episode with a little bit of training. We do have Marcus Rashford, Angle or Angel Gomez, McTominay, Luke Shaw, and Martial all being trained here. The normal five, the normal suspects. Let's see if we can get them up a little bit. So it's decent ratings wise, decent stats going up, but no overalls going up. So the first game in today's episode is away at Selhurst Park against the side, the most recent side that we did do in our rebuilding series. It is Crystal Palace. So we know all about this side. We have played them in this series earlier. I think it was a three nil win in the Premier League. So hopefully a similar result here, but it would be nice to go on a bit of a cup run in the League Cup. So here is the Crystal Palace starting 11. Are they playing five at the back? I think they are. They play five in the back in real. Yeah, there it is. That's the lineup we're playing in the Palace rebuild. Ben Teke, got to watch out for him. And along with Wilfred Zaha, uh, Kabai in the midfield, it's going to be a tough challenge. I mean, we can barely score at the best of times, let alone when they're rocking five at the back. And here is our starting 11 for today's game. Once again, once again, changing up the starting 11 a lot. We're going to give Angel Gomez or Angel Gomes a starting role here in the cam position. Rashford starting up front. Lindelof in the back line. It's a strong side, but also an experimental one. They're on the attack here, Crystal Palace. Good stuff from Vratti to win that one. Now can we hit him on the counter? Rashford goes to Gomez. Who goes out to Martial. Martial's got space to run. Quicker than Johan Kabai. We're going to try squaring that one. Running onto it is Marco Verratti. What a goal. He's going to give us the lead here. Nine minutes into this one at Selhurst Park. Great stuff from Anthony Martial. What a run and what a ball there to Marco Verratti, who picks up his first goal as a Manchester United player. I want to look at this one again. I thought, I'm running and I'm thinking, there is going to be someone making a run into that box. Let's put it in there. And Marco Verratti is that man. What a perfect start. Free kick here for Crystal Palace. 20 minutes into it. Ben Teke and Mila Vojevic. He lays that one off there to Johan Kabai. Forces De Gea into the save. Going to go out wide there. Are we going to get lucky? We are. Martial chests it down beautifully. What a game he's having. Can we get a second goal? I see the run in. Marcus Rashford. Again, follow up. Rashford. Oh, what a save. Here we go. Rashford turning. Can he get a goal? Oh, good save there. That would have been the perfect start to the half. We get the corner out of it still, though. Emmanuel Matic to put this one into the area. Keeper comes out, punched away. Still on here, though. Lingard lining this one up. Jesse Lingard from distance. Another great save from Fred. Here we go, fellas. Crystal Palace sitting pretty deep, but we're looking to break them down. Good stuff. Marcus Rashford. Weak-ass finish. I was trying something that I was learning. I was trying the low-driven shot. Got to practice it more, though. Still on, though. Gomez through. Rashford on the angle straight at the keeper. I need to practice my bloody finishing. He's trying to get into a shooting opportunity. Verratti going to Rashford. He deserves a goal. Marcus Rashford on the angle. There it is. That is 2-0 across 
The bloody body shots are so overpowered again this year. Marcus Rashford gets the goal finally, and we are in cruise control here. Let's just close it out. Following that goal from Rashford, I'm going to make a substitution. It's going to be Marco Verratti coming off and Scott McTominay, the youngster, coming in, coming on. I almost said coming in, coming aong, coming on. What the hell am I trying to talk about? Here we go, Jesse Lingard. Had a good game so far. Really proved that he deserves some more game time. It's going to Valencia here. Valencia running down the line, going there. Marcus Rashford on the angle. Tight finish. Did well considering. Poor pass there. Oh, even worse from Lingard. Oh, good stuff, Rashford. What a game Marcus Rashford is having. Showing me why he deserves to play up front as the lone striker more often. Martial going back. Rashford looking. There it is. Rashford, what an absolute bomb of a finish. He is going to get his brace and he is going to seal our spot in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. What an absolute rocket that was. Martial. Good pass there, great run, and the first time finish. No chance for Fred. Good stuff, Lingard. Do we have time for one last attack? Would be nice to get a fourth goal here. Rashford on the counter-attack. What can he do? Marcus Rashford looking for his hat-trick, cutting around, going to Gomez. The youngster looking for his first goal. Almost gets an absolute rocket, but that is full-time. We are back to our best. A 3-0 result, a 3-0 demolition of Crystal Palace all over Roy Hodgson's men. Hopefully that can continue. Hopefully we can continue this form into the rest of our games, but that was a really encouraging game. Rashford and Martial and Smalling, all three of them absolutely killed it today. So we were strong against Crystal Palace. We were really strong against Crystal Palace, but this is a huge test now. Tottenham at home, a rainy Manchester day at Old Trafford. It is going to be really interesting to see how we perform here. Will we have changed our season? Will we go back to our losing ways? We'll have to wait and see. And the mental thing is, despite how terrible we have been to start the season, we are only four points out of the top four. So our season, our title race, our title challenge, still well and truly on. And that Tottenham side, they are coming first, so it's going to be interesting. And of course, that man there, Toby Alderweireld, coming up against his first, his old club for the first time. Oh, good stuff from Lukaku. Early opportunities here. Mkhitaryan has to pull back. Passing it around here. See Dybala. We didn't mean to go to Verratti, but it goes to Dybala. Early opportunity, Dybala hits it on the angle, gives us the lead. What a start to the game. Why do we always score goals so early? Paulo Dybala, three minutes into it, gets us the lead. It was a weird sort of sequence of events there. Kind of just bobbled up in the area to Paulo Dybala. And it was an awkward looking finish. He kind of had to get up to finish that one. Like, he had to jump up and finish it around the hip. But by God, what a finish. And what a start to the goddamn game. Harry Kane, good stuff there out of real, but Deli Alley wins that 50 50 challenge. Deli Alley, long shot! Oh my god, I thought he equalized. <laughs> my heart just sunk there. I thought that Deli Alley scored a wonder goal. Good stuff from Martial. I'm gonna go out wide there to Paul Pogba. Up against Aurier. Oh, beautifully done there from the Frenchman. Come on, Pogba. Plenty of space. Get in the middle, Lukaku. Somebody get in the middle. We're gonna put that one in there. It falls! Lukaku 2 0! Oh my god, Romelu Lukaku has doubled our advantage. We have been getting absolutely pressured by Tottenham. What a finish there. I was begging him to get in the middle. What a ball from Pogba and another amazing finish. Our luck has well and truly turned around. That is definitely not deserved and we're scoring the type of goals that up until today's episode we'd really been conceding. But what a dream start this is. Deli Ali. Oh, Harry Kane just gets that one. We can't overcommit with one defender. Deli Ali getting past Eric Bailly. Going there. Harry Kane beautifully blo blocked from Marco Verratti. Come on, fellas. On the counter now. Can we get it going again? Beautiful ball from Dybala over the top to Henrik Mikatarian. Let's put that one back post. Lukaku. Oh. Oh, they've got numbers out wide. Poor stuff there from Casemiro, though. He has had a poor start to the game, Casemiro. 
Lukaku. Oh, Lukaku's done Jan Vertonghen on the angle. Lukaku, he makes it 3-0. We are in dreamland here at Old Trafford. We're going to go and celebrate with the main man Zlatan. What a start to the game. You guys are probably... I can already see the comments now saying, Oh, you were so shit at World Class. You probably put it on semi-pro. Guarantee this is on World Class. We have just been superb here. Superb here. What a move from Lukaku. And those across the body finishers are OP this year. Good stuff out of real. Killing it against his former side. Through to Bala. On the angle. Almost made it 4-0. Oh my. Here we go, fellas. We're playing counter-attacking football in this second half. Expecting Tottenham to throw everything at us. This is some beautiful football here. Dybala, still on. Still on. Still on somehow. Oh, beautiful ball. Martial, Pogba, 4-0. That is beautiful football. I stopped talking for the majority of it. We're going to dab on that one with Pogba and Martial joining in, but... I stopped talking because I was just in the zone there. Like, we were passing it around beautifully. I don't know how we got that one off there. I don't know how Pogba was in such good space. And I don't know why Lloris jumped so early. Actually, that was probably a good decision. But, four bloody nil. Tottenham, go home. You are embarrassed today. Deli Ali running through. Looking to give Tottenham... A bit of respect back in this one, but he hits that one straight at De Gea. All right, so it's a triple substitution here for the final part of the game. Dybala, Mkhitaryan, and Martial all coming off. Mata, Carrick, and Rashford on. What a superb performance from all three of those players. There it is, fellas, in probably our best performance for the entire series. 4-0 over Tottenham. I was saying that I hoped that we backed it up against, after that Crystal Palace win... We have done more than backed it up. We have absolutely killed it. Surely this is going to be the new era. Surely we have started something. We've scored, what, 10 goals in our last... No, 11 goals in our past three games. So, that's good. And Tottenham are meant to be first. We absolutely killed them. All right, after that amazing win against Spurs, we're going to get into our second training session for today's episode. So, Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, Angel Gomes, Gribben and Bailly all getting involved in the training sessions today. Really enjoying the progress some of these players are making. Not the greatest session there though, but still coming along nicely. So here we go, the final matchup in today's episode. We're looking to make it three from three. Let's go for another clean sheet. Let's go for another impressive win. And it's a match that we need to win. It is the Champions League group stages. We're into the second half of the group stages now. And as you'll see in a second, we have a two-point lead in second position. I don't think we're going to catch Bayern Munich, but Spartak Moscow, the winner, will go ahead of one another. So we need to win this game. So here is the Spartak Moscow starting 11. They did hold us to a one-all draw last time we played them. So looking to get a strong performance here. Looking to get the three points. Popov is a player we have to watch out for. Bocchetti at the back is pretty strong as well. Our starting 11 is a pretty strong one as well. It's unfortunate that we had so much fixture congestion because I would have loved to rock the same starting 11 we did against Tottenham. Unfortunately though, a lot of our big name players from that one were tired from it. So Zlatan gets to start up front and it's virtually a completely different side. Good stuff, Luke Shaw. Come on, fellas. Can we hit him on the counter now? Verratti. Going there to Juan Mata. Holding it up nicely. Running straight up the guts of the midfield. Juan Mata. Where is the defense gone? Juan Mata. Finish it. Taken down. No, that's a good tackle. We took too long to finish that one. They're on the attack here. Samidov through. Shoots. Save from Romero. We're playing pretty sloppily so far. Corner here for Spartak Moscow. Samidov to put this one in. They're looking to take the lead before half time. It falls to this Lewis bloke. It falls down for him again. They've gotten the lead. Oh dear, this is not going to plan. Z Lewis, it falls down for him. We just watch him as he puts that one across the face of the goals. Pretty scrappy goal, but we need to wake up here. We feel a little bit fatigued. I feel a little bit fatigued. I'm pretty damn tired at the moment, but look at this on the replay. It kind of just falls to him. Pogba gets turned so easily. It's not good enough. Passing it around nicely in the second half here. 
We need to find an equalizer. Valencia's had a quiet game so far. We're passing it around. Pogba through to Zlatan. Zlatan turns. It was weak. Oh, here we go. We've got an opportunity here. We're going to hold this one up. Zlatan through to Pogba. He equalizes. Lovely stuff there. Poor bloody Pogba. We've got to dab it. You know we have to, but what a finish there. Beautiful hold up play. I was considering bringing Zlatan off, but I thought, let's give him another 10 minutes. He would be good for some hold up play. And that's what he was. He just held the ball up perfectly there. Played a beautiful ball to Pogba who finishes it like a striker. And after that goal from Paul Pogba, we're going to make a substitution here. Marco Verratti coming off and Herrera coming on. Oh, this is not good. Luis Adriano going through. That was a lot closer than I would have liked it to be. Piano over the top. Get that one away. It falls down to them off the post. I think Romero got a touch on it. Get it away. No, Luke Shaw's giving it up. Good block. No, bicycle. Holy moly. There you go, Jesse Lingard. Good ball there to Juan Mata. Mata's running through. I see you, Henrik Mkhitaryan, on the angle, off the crossbar. Oh, the keeper gets a touch onto the crossbar. When I struck it, I thought, we've won this. What a fingertip save there from the keeper. I thought that was the three points. Crap, they've got a good opportunity here before full time. 90th minute. Get away with it. No, it's fallen. Oh, save from Romero. This has been a high quality game. They're looking dangerous in stoppage time. Let's not let them get the winner. Goes back post. Tipped away from Romero. Run after it, Valencia. Just booted upfield, Valencia. He does that. And that is going to be full time. A hard fought contest. And we can't get the better. Oh, Spartak Moscow. I'm just happy that we retain our two-point advantage over them, which is a pretty big advantage. Keeps us in front. Keeps us in qualification contest contestants. What am I trying to say? Qualification. I don't know. We're in the hunt for qualification, but a one-all draw. Another one-all draw with Spartak Moscow. But, fellas, that is going to conclude the eighth episode of our Manchester United FIFA 18 career mode series. As you can see, we are finishing today's episode in seventh position on 16 points. So, we're only two points out of the top four. And next episode, we begin it with a matchup against fourth place Chelsea. So, we win that, we have a good shot of jumping into the top four, which we really don't deserve. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Also, make sure you bloody Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Check out my social media links as well, my Instagram and my Twitter, both of those linked down below as per normal. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.